Muhammad said they were gonna wall the place in and then set it on fire. Remember that. They wanna trap us in, but you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for the new wave, the fifth wave. So you gotta be ready for the switch. We told y'all to wean yourself off the government. Go get our tape. We put out call, wean yourself off the government. We told you about 2025. Everybody said somebody came on to say that Donald Trump is not down with plan 2025. Keep in mind, politicians are liars. Politics, politics, right? You know what a tick is all about. You know what a lunatic is. Beings who draw energy from the moon, right? So politics do lie. <laughs> politics lie, and, it, and like they say, like the black hand says, you can't be a good politician unless you lie to the people. <laughs> and tell them, oh no, we got I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna bite you. There's a story of a snake. A man who gave a snake a ride, and eventually the snake talked him into giving a ride. He swore, the snake swore up and down that he wasn't gonna bite the man. But the man gave him a ride, and the snake bit him. And he threw the snake off. He said, man, why did you bite me? And the snake said, you should have knew I was gonna bite you. I'm a snake. Donald Trump is no most. Keep in mind, I told you what, how the no most rock, they tricky. It's hard to rock around, to rock around. Jack it's tricky, Get a UAV in the air. right? Because the Nomos at one point fought to help the humans. And then they once they got, got rid of the people that was uh, taking advantage of the humans, they took advantage of the humans. Um, so it's like this type of thing. We're gonna help you, but then we're gonna be, we gotta be your God after that. Cause anybody that coming that you need becomes your God, right? <laughs> so they turned on us after they helped us. So what if Donald Trump is coming to help you? Get rid of the people who parasitic off you so he can parasite. Give me his game. The no most can parasite off of you. Because the nomos and the Pope is connected. Keep in mind that Donald Trump hooking up with the Pope. These people are all in bed together. The religious guys. This is the religious thing trying to gain back control because they see that religion is going out. A lot of you young people don't go to the mosque or not no more. A lot of you young people don't go to the synagogues no more. A lot of you people don't go to young people don't go to the church no more. Cause they don't know, they teaching the same thing over again, over and over again. They've been teaching for the last couple hundreds of years. So he's saying, so the young people are saying, man, you don't got nothing else new to teach. We heard the Jesus story 25,000 times, any way you can spend it. We took Jesus to the cross 200 different ways. We then raised, uh, raised him for the dead 400 different ways. You know what I'm saying? We then saw what happened to Muhammad three, four different ways. That stands the reason is the Quran must be interpreted in several different ways according to uh, these guys because why is there so many six? If the Quran was, can only be interpreted in one way, why is there so many different six? If the Bible can be interpreted in so many different ways, I mean, uh, or, I mean, only one way of it is one God, and this God is telling you what he's saying. Why is there so many different sects of Christianity? Why are there so many different sects of Judaism? If there's only, if y'all all down with the same God. That's what we want to know. Why is there so many sects? Why is there in Christianity, Baptist, Pentecostal, Methodist? Non-denomination. I mean, there's so many different denominations. I saw one church, and I almost, uh, when I passed it by, I almost drove out the road because I had to look back and make sure I saw what I seen. It said, uh, "Non-denominational Baptist Methodist Church, a Pentecostal Church of God in Christ." And I said, "What? Come on, I almost went to turn around and make sure I read that right." 
Did they say non-denominational Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, First God, Church God in Christ, First, First Church of God in Christ? Man, I'm about to go back and take a picture of that sign and y'all so y'all won't think I'm making this up. And I said, man, which uh, they must just try to, they must just try to call it a market. We, what we'll do is we'll get Christians, Pentecostals, First God, Church of God in Christ, and all the other guys, all the denominations, and bring up into one denom. Even if you non denomination, we'll bring you in too. So we trying to make some money, man. We going out of business. We going out of business and we need to get all the different denominations that we can get so we can you know denomination really means different forms of money. So you got five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. That's what the, that's what it's all about money. And a lot of these big guys, like T D Jakes and all the rest of them, got five oh one C three agreements. Still in bond agreements with the government. You know what I'm saying? So you drive the all you know what I'm saying I almost ran off the road when I seen that. I said, I know these people, they be people trying to get the boy, they going all the way, they going all the way to the uh floor board with them. Yeah. So and it's a mega church on every corner. Watch some of these mega churches start to go out of business 2025. This is the fifth place. The day of tomorrow. Watch church, watch churches start to go out of business. Why? Because ain't no more 501 C three agreement. Because if the Pope cut y'all, the Pope cutting y'all off now, man. The Pope did already cut y'all off. See, when you went to the bank to get that loan to get you a church, because a Hebrew brother already exposed it. And he said that he, they asked him, what do y'all teach? And he said, Oh yeah, we teach this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? In the third, all right, then he ran the Hebrew drop jogging down to them. And they said, well, we, you can't teach, we can't give you a loan if you teach this. You gotta teach this. You gotta teach, pretty much if, if you take a synopsis of what they said, you gotta teach, get your pie in the sky, turn the other cheek, when somebody knock your eyeball out, turn the other cheek. And, you know, love, love, love your brother. You know what I'm saying? Teach them three things and, you, and we'll give you a loan. And you gotta teach Jesus on the cross. That, if you ain't taking Jesus to the cross, man, we can't keep giving you this loan. I'm telling you, man. And so a lot of these people that's out here teaching, they follow strict guidelines of the C the 501 C3, because if they don't, they can they get took down. And a lot of them, they making so much money, they cool with it. PD Jake's making ten thousand dollars a Sunday, he cool with uh following the guideline. He'll get up and give you nothing but uh, what he teach. They call what he teach, uh, it's a certain type of di uh, construct. It's called uh, prosperity uh, preaching. That's what he do, prosperity preaching. It's about how we can get some money by using God, by moving the hand of God. You can move the hand of God to get money. All you gotta do is say, Jesus, give me $20. Hey man, it's a, it's a game that they run, and and they playing with Jesus so that that, that G, Jesus is a whole nother level. Now that we uh took four hundred years to uh build that up, our ancestors. So they up, and like I say, the the uh the, the fifth wave is dealing with all the stuff that's about to get in to go down, and all the stuff that's about to explode, be exposed including the uh, the government working with extraterrestrials, which has already been exposed, but the government gonna come out and say it now. When Donald Trump get in there, he gonna come out and say, oh yeah, well, they ain't gonna tell you the whole story. They just gonna give you what they gonna give you without trying to scare you. Yeah, we made a deal. They been duck. They ain't gonna tell you the part they better duck the humans. We gonna tell you the part that we made a deal. We got technology and we got some cures. We got this thing called a med bed. You know, where you can lay in it and it actually pulls uh step out of your uh system toxic and realign your organs. And the main band is nothing but the uh it's a thing called actually the main band was designed thousands of years ago in ancient Babylon. Okay, so let me explain that to you about the main band, because people was asking about the main band. And it's twenty twenty five, the main band gonna come out. The main band they're gonna tell you about the main band in twenty twenty five once Donald Trump get in and get everything, get the ball rolling, right? 
because they go out of business. They got to relay and build everything to us and then get the hell out of town. So they go, it's a lot of technology that's going to roll out that U.S. Corps got a, got pads on. And they're going to have to give us all this technology and then just, oh yeah, y'all just do what you can do with it. Right? This type of thing. But the men being were designed in, in Babylon and how they ended up getting it is they found, they found it and dug it up. And they, try, they put their scientists on it to try to figure out what it was. And they figured out what it was. It was the uh, sarcophagus that Murdoch and, and his brother Tahuni designed. And it's pretty much a thing that they would, uh, that they would lay in and it would heal their uh, avatar. They show this thing on a series on uh, Netflix. I think it's on one of them, uh, Hulu one of them. And it's called the Stargate. On the Stargate, they show you this sarcophagus that they lay in.